Have you ever reflected on the first time you encountered Lucille Bremer's work? What distinguishes her from contemporaries of that era? A notable figure in classic Hollywood, she left an indelible mark with her performances. Known for her distinctive presence, she stood out among peers, bringing a unique quality to the screen. As you recall cherished memories or personal experiences related to this iconic Hollywood actor, feel free to share them in the comments below. Stay tuned as we unravel amusing, shocking, and poignant facts about Lucille Bremer. The journey through the nuances of her career promises to be a captivating one. We're eager to hear your stories, so keep watching for more insights into the life and career of this remarkable individual. Share your thoughts and memories in the comments below. There's a lot more to discover together. Lucille Bremer, a luminary in classic Hollywood, exerted a profound impact on the film industry during her era and beyond. Her distinct on-screen presence set her apart from contemporaries, leaving an enduring mark that reverberates through the annals of Hollywood history. Amidst the bustling landscape of classic Hollywood, her contributions were noteworthy. Performances were not merely a testament to acting prowess, but also an exploration of a unique quality that she brought to every role. In the world of cinema, this artist navigated with an intriguing finesse, etching her name in the memories of audiences. The influence extended beyond the confines of her time, shaping the trajectory of Hollywood itself. The cinematic journey, marked by captivating portrayals and memorable characters, resonated with audiences across generations. The impact of her work remains palpable, a testament to the enduring legacy crafted within the industry. Exploring the nuances of her career unveils a narrative woven with amusing, shocking, and poignant facts. The cinematic journey is a captivating one, offering insights into the evolution of Hollywood and the indelible mark left on its landscape. As audiences reflect on cherished memories related to this iconic actor, they are invited to share their thoughts and stories, creating a collective exploration of the multifaceted impact. In summary, the contributions to Hollywood were not confined to her era. They transcended time, leaving an enduring influence on the film industry. The unique presence, coupled with captivating performances, has solidified her as a figure whose impact continues to resonate with audiences today. Lucille Bremer, a luminary of classic Hollywood, is remembered not just for her on-screen brilliance, but also for the memorable quotes and anecdotes that surround her. One co-star fondly recalls, working with her was a delight. She had this effortless charm that translated beautifully on screen. It wasn't just about acting. It was about bringing a unique quality to every role. In a candid interview, she once shared an amusing behind-the-scenes story from one of her films. We were shooting a dance sequence, and I tripped over my own feet. Instead of cutting, the director decided to keep rolling. It turned into this spontaneous, funny moment that actually made it into the final cut. Sometimes, the unplanned adds the most charm to a scene. Another co-star reflects on the lasting impact of her performances, stating she had a way of making every character memorable. It wasn't just about reading lines, it was about embodying the essence of the role. She had this ability to connect with audiences on a profound level. Lucille Bremer herself once remarked on the evolving nature of Hollywood, saying the industry changes, but the essence of storytelling remains. It's a dynamic journey, and I feel fortunate to have been a part of it during my time. These anecdotes and quotes provide a glimpse into her personality and professionalism. Her impact extends beyond the screen, leaving an indelible mark on the collective memory of classic Hollywood. As audiences continue to reflect on her contributions, the captivating journey of her career remains a testament to the enduring legacy she crafted within the industry. A former member of the Radio City Rockettes, Lucille Bremer, left an enduring impact not just on Hollywood's silver screen, but also in the realm of politics. A staunch Republican, she dedicated both her time and money to various conservative causes, actively participating in Republican national conventions, galas, and fundraisers. Her support extended to campaigns for Wendell Wilkie, Thomas E. Dewey, Dwight D. Eisenhower, Richard Nixon, and Ronald Reagan. In a notable moment, she graced the cover of Life magazine on March 25, 1946. This recognition marked a pivotal point in her career, showcasing her prominence in the Hollywood landscape. Her journey, however, wasn't confined to the glitz of Hollywood. Beyond the dance sequences and movie sets, she engaged passionately in the political arena, aligning herself with the ideals of the Republican Party. Her contributions went beyond acting, transcending the boundaries of entertainment, 
Involvement in political campaigns revealed a multifaceted personality, weaving influence not only into the tapestry of classic Hollywood, but also into the political landscape of her time. The Life magazine cover story served as a testament to her recognition, placing her among the notable figures of that era. In conclusion, Lucille Bremer's legacy extends beyond performances on the silver screen, intertwining with her fervent dedication to conservative causes and political engagement. The Life magazine cover, a snapshot of her fame, remains a poignant reminder of her multifaceted impact on both Hollywood and the political stage. Lucille Bremer, a luminary of classic Hollywood, added another dimension to her life at the age of 33, welcoming her second child, a daughter named Karen Rodriguez, on December 26, 1950. The father of her child was her former husband, Louis Rodriguez. Born in Amsterdam, New York, she shares her hometown with Kirk Douglas, who happens to be two months older than her. Interestingly, their paths crossed in this small town, each destined for a distinct journey in the world of entertainment. During her screen test at MGM, she found herself performing a scene from the Betty Davis film Dark Victory. Notably, observers remarked on the striking resemblance she bore to the renowned Betty Davis. This resemblance would become an intriguing aspect of her career, adding a layer of familiarity to her on-screen presence. Her life wasn't just confined to the glitz of Hollywood or the dance sequences she expertly executed as a former member of the Radio City Rockettes. Lucille Bremer was deeply involved in politics, aligning herself with the Republican Party. A staunch supporter, she actively participated in Republican national conventions, galas, and fundraisers. Notably, she graced the cover of Life magazine on March 25, 1946, marking a pivotal point in her career and highlighting her prominence in both Hollywood and the political arena. Her story is more than the characters she portrayed on the silver screen. It's a narrative woven with family moments, hometown connections, and political engagement. As audiences continue to reflect on her contributions, they discover a woman who transcended the boundaries of entertainment and etched her name not only in Hollywood, but also in the political stage of her time. Lucille Bremer's legacy is a fascinating exploration of the various facets that shaped her life. Lucille Bremer expanded her family, welcoming her fourth child, a son named Toro Richard Rodriguez, on December 14, 1955, at the age of 38. The child's father is her ex-husband, Luis Rodriguez. This addition marked another chapter in her personal life, distinct from the vibrant career in classic Hollywood. The on-screen partnership with Fred Astaire in two films remains a notable highlight. The duo showcased their dance prowess, contributing to the cinematic landscape of that era. Their collaboration added a dynamic element to her filmography, showcasing versatility beyond acting. At 32, she became a mother for the first time, giving birth to a daughter named Cristina Rodriguez on September 3, 1949. The child's father, once again, was Luis Rodriguez. This early experience of motherhood unfolded during a period of active engagement in the entertainment industry. Life was not confined to Hollywood glamour and also involved familial moments. The journey included the birth of her second child, Karen Rodriguez, on December 26, 1950, at the age of 33. This personal milestone added another layer to the narrative, emphasizing the balance between family life and the career in the limelight. These personal moments, intertwined with professional achievements, reveal a woman whose life was shaped by various facets, family, career, and partnerships. The dance sequences with Fred Astaire and the joy of motherhood each played a unique role in the tapestry of experiences.